art for me was like a big brother, a resemblance of a father in a way that I had something to lean on. When times were rough, you know, I would go and hide under a coffee table. And I remember picking up my notebook and I would create my own rules to escape my reality. And that's when I said, art, it's a gift and no one's gonna take that from me. But most importantly, it gave me a sense of peace. It gave me a sense of self-worth, you know, something that I was seeking from the outside world. Inspired by a 17th century book for aristocrats called A Liber Amicor, or Book of Friends, the Getty Graffiti Black Book connects a community of artists around Los Angeles. This is the story of those artists. People knew me for the one of the artists from Boyle Heights in the community. You're talented, you're gifted, don't let it go to waste. I heard that over and over again. I just didn't know how to embrace it, you know, to the fullest, because I was now stuck in that revolving door of misery, suffering and pain, incarceration, drug addiction. But no matter what, I never lost sight of my dream. And that made me more of a spiritual person, which you can see pierced through my works of art. For me, it's about how do I take all my lived experience, my experience as in a gang member, my experiences as a young man growing up without a father, mother in despair, the surroundings of my environment, the infrastructure of Los Angeles, the city as a whole. How do you take all that, put it in a jar, shake it up, and see what comes out. And all that experience, you know, I said, how can I utilize that and give back, right? How can I fulfill a gap that was missing in my life and my upbringing? And that's when I came up with an art academy. I wanted to work with gang-involved youth and help them through facilitation, hopefully discover their gifts, their talents. So now I'm the executive director and co-founder of the Homeboy Art Academy. And that is what makes me not just an artist, but like an activist and an advocate. I think for a lot of us, there was not many resources or access or opportunity per se. And so we had to develop our own outlet. And I think that's why hip hop and graffiti art was essential at the time for us. I was surrounded by that, and to be honest with you, that's when it all began because I, I felt that I was embraced by graffiti. The letters, the vibrancy, the colors, the wild styles, the different forms of uh, graffiti styles were provoking something in me. And I think that's when I picked up my black book and I started to explore and began to cultivate a sense of a pathway into this world. When I was doing this graffiti, you know, I was also embraced by Chicano murals, you know, growing up in East LA, Boyle Heights. You know, I kind of started to see the variables and the culture within my community, whether it's Chicano murals, graffiti murals, gang writing, all of it start to come together in, in one particular way. And I do believe that in that moment, I put the spray can to rest and I picked up the paintbrush and I started to create large scale windows, murals. And I think that's where I fell in love with the acrylic paint and the, and the murals and the history, the narratives, the stories, you know, then that to me felt like this is where I want to go. I think this gives me more of a platform to really express who I am. And most importantly, to carry the voice of my people and the struggles and the issues that surround my community. I wanted to do that. When uh, I got invited, you know, to do this uh, black book, they give you a page, right? And then I saw that page more like a canvas. I got to do something. And if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it in graphite. And the reason why I'm going to do it in graphite is because it brings me back to the beginning of when I was incarcerated and the style of graphite and how we were drawn in prison. So I wanted to capture myself in a nostalgic look 
remembering the times when I felt as if I was in heaven, behind the graffiti, behind the tagging, behind being a free spirit and embodying it through the wings of an angel, which also signify the shapes and forms that come from lettering and graffiti art. That's street art. It's almost like a magnet, right? Street art is like a little magnet. And I think uh, there's a lot of common ground, you know, a lot of relational commonalities, you know? And in those circles, as we are sharing of the styles and the forms and like, look, look at what I do, it's also, builds a sense of community. And the Getty Black Book brings that because I think when folks really take a look at this Black Book, it shines a different sense of light, you know? And in itself, it removes a stereotypical perceptions of the world and what they have said about graffiti for many years. And it welcomes it in such a way that it's now acceptable. That's what we would like to see on a larger scale. I felt honored and most importantly, to me it's just, it's more than the Black Book. When I leave this earth, generations after me can simply go down to the Getty, knock on the door, and go to the boat and get an essence of who I was as an artist.